How's it going everybody? Daner here with North Central Coins and welcome back to another episode of the most rare and valuable coins in Canada. Today I'm going to be counting down the top 5 valuable toonie errors that you can find whether you are coin roll hunting or looking through your pocket chain. Now the Canadian toonie is a fairly recent denomination. It was only released in the year 1996 to replace the Canadian $2 bill. Even though the Canadian toonie would be considered modern and is also a larger denomination, there are some very rare varieties that you can look for. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to identify them and also their potential maximum value. But before I do start this off, I would really appreciate if you guys would hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and also hit that bell notification so you can see my videos as they are being released. And then what do you say we get into the top five Canadian toonie varieties that you can find? Let's get it, guys. Now, as I mentioned, the Canadian Toonie was first introduced on February 19th in the year 1996. The coin is manufactured using a patented distinctive bimetallic coin locking mechanism. The coins are estimated to last 20 years. The discontinued Canadian $2 bill was less expensive to manufacture, but it only lasted one year on average. Coins minted prior to 2012 consist of an aluminum bronze inner core with a pure nickel outer ring, but in March to May 2012, the composition of the inner core switched to aluminum bronze coated multiply plated brass, and the outer ring switched to steel coated with multiply plated nickel. The weight also dropped from 7.30 to 6.92 grams, and the thickness changed from 1.8 to 1.75 millimeters. The Canadian Mint said that the multiply plated steel technology already used in Canada's smaller coinage produces an electromagnetic signature that is harder to counterfeit than the regular alloy coins. Also, using steel provides cost savings and avoids fluctuations in the price and supply of nickel. Now, the reason that it is referred to as a toonie is because it is a $2 denomination. They are very common to use here in Canada for smaller purchases. A lot of us Canadians like to use them at our iconic coffee shop, Tim Hortons. We go on down to our local Timmy's and you give them a toonie for a larger, extra large, double double. But a lot of the time, if you're making larger purchases with bills, you will actually get toonies back in your change and you can look for some of the varieties that I'm discussing on this list or you can go down to the bank and pick up a thousand dollar box of toonies. I've actually done a few coin roll hunts of toonie boxes in the past if you would like to go check those out and see some of the potential coins that you can find that would be appreciated but what do you say we start this list off with number five which is going to be the 1996 toonie now this is going to be the canadian planchette but you're actually going to be looking for a variety now this variety is known as the 1996 horn and to identify it what you want to do is look on the tip of the polar bear's nose for a die chip that will resemble a horn and one of these in terms of value can bring you around $40 for an MS-63 and it can go all the way up to $150 for an MS-65 example. Another thing to keep in mind with toonies is since they are such a modern coin, a lot of the time you have a much higher chance of being able to find these in a higher grade state. I have actually found 1996 mint state toonies, which is the first year. So if you're looking for any of these more recent date toonies, there is a good chance that they will be out there in a higher quality and a higher condition than a lot of the other smaller denominations. Number four on this list is going to be the 2000 Knowledge Toonie, and this is with the Pedestal D variety. Now, to identify this variety, what you want to do is look at the bottom of the D in the $2 on the reverse of the coin, and you are looking for a die chip that runs along the bottom of the D. And if you can identify this die chip, then you have what is known as the Pedestal D. And in terms of value, this tuning can bring you all the way up to $150 for an MS-66 example. Number three on this list is going to be the 2010 Toonie with 14 serrations. Now, in the year 2010, they added security features to the Toonie, one of which was serrations around the outside rim. Now, the more common of the two varieties will have 16 serrations, but if you count out 14, then you have yourself a fairly rare Toonie that can be worth all the way up 
to $309 for MS66. So what you want to do is turn the coin over to the side and count the little notches or serrations and make sure that you have 14. Number two on this list is going to be the 2012 HMS Shannon with an extra sale variety. Now to identify this, what you want to do is look at the reverse of the coin at the HMS Shannon ship and look at the ship's masts and basically on the right hand side, there should be a small extra sail. I'm not exactly sure why this is. It could be an earlier die state or it could be a small variety that they changed up during the minting process, but this is definitely a much more rare variety than the non-extra sale because you can get all the way up to $400 for an MS65 example. Well, would you look at that? We have already made it to number one on this list. We have just breezed through. Because the Tuni is such a modern coin, there are not a whole lot of holy grails and super valuable varieties to look for, but there are some gems out there that you can make some money off of, and who knows what they will be worth one day. But I did actually want to make a couple of honorable mentions before we do get into number one. So one Tuni that I definitely wanted to mention was the 2013 Double Date, and this is a fairly easy toonie to identify. You basically just want to look at the date on the toonie. And if you can identify machine doubling, this can be worth all the way up to $90 in an MS66. So if you're able to buy a roll of 2013 toonies and cherry pick a few of these double dates out there and they scored in the MS65 or MS66 range, you could actually make some very good money off of that roll. So 2013 toonies are definitely good ones to look out for. And another honorable mention will be the 2019 Toonie with 16 serrations. So this is basically the opposite of the 2010 Toonie that I mentioned earlier. This one, you are looking for the 16 serration variation instead of the 14. So you want to turn it to the side and count the little notches. And if you have 16 of them, then you have yourself a pretty rare Toonie that can be worth all the way up to $90 for an MS64. So this is another example of you could buy a roll of 2019 uncirculated Toonies. You could open the roll up and dig through and if you happen to find any with the 16 serration, you can make some decent money off of them. One thing that I do want to mention to you guys, as was told to me by more experienced collectors, is a lot of the time when you're looking to cherry pick varieties, when you open a roll up, chances are either all the coins are going to be a variety of that air that you're looking for or none of them are because most of the coins that were put into that roll were probably struck into sequence. So if there was a problem, then it's going to be consistent amongst all the coins in the roll. So if you bust open or you look at the ender on the roll and you don't see anything super crazy, then I would maybe just honestly keep it sealed, keep it closed and resell it. But you never know. There could be a few that made it in there. Maybe the coins got mixed up a little bit before they got rolled up but what do you say we get to number one on this list which is going to be a fairly valuable toonie and that is going to be the 1996 first year canadian toonie struck on a german planchette now when the canadian mint began rolling out the toonie they were actually having some production problems they had a quota that they had to fill and they believed they would not be able to make enough planchettes to fulfill it so basically they contacted a german company known as deutsch nickel and they contracted them to produce six million blank planchettes for the toonies and these are actually slightly different than the canadians they will have a different finish that is described as more oily and greasy in appearance and it will also have more grainy lines on the outside ring now in terms of value one of these can bring you around 40 dollars for an ms62 and it can be worth all the way up to $694 for an MS66. So if you happen to get one of these that scored a 67, we could be talking a $1,000 toonie here. I have actually found a German planchette in one of my coin roll hunts that was definitely in a mint state. I still need to send it in to be graded. I'm definitely going to make a video in the future where I send some of the nicer finds for my coin roll hunts in and see what kind of grades I can get, even just as an experiment for myself and for you guys. But I think that is pretty much going to be it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up and please subscribe if you would like to see more just like this. Also, I would like to announce that I have partnered with the company Atmex. They are one of the largest precious metals dealers in North America. They have a website with a massive selection and inventory ranging from everything from bars, bullion, hand port pieces. They have New Zealand mint licensed products like Star Wars, Marvel, Harry Potter. So if you would like to support my channel and also shop one of the biggest selections of precious metals in the world, then just click the link down in the description below. But that's going to be it for today, guys. So until the next one, everybody, peace out and have a good one, y'all.